Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to show you some of the tips and tricks you can try out with the Realme 2 Pro. So Realme 2 Pro comes with a color OS on top of Android 8.1 Oreo and a color OS is uh, the UI which we have seen on Oppo smartphones. So Realme 1, uh, Realme 2 Pro also comes with the color OS. So in this video, we'll talk about some of the features available on this device, tips and tricks and the uh, best options to get the better out of your device. So let's get started. So first step, let's go to the notification toggles. So here you can see that uh, you can uh, edit the toggles. So there are lots of toggles available and uh, you can basically customize them and uh, which all you want. You can just uh, rearrange them by drag and drop. For example, if you want the camera in the notification toggle, so just drag and rearrange and you can have them uh, in the toggle. So that's how you can uh, customize the toggles. And once you're done that, you can just click save and that will be available. Now, some interesting options in the uh, toggles is that one is the boost. So this will uh, improve the performance. You can see that uh, it will clean up uh, the background uh, RAM and uh, uh, will get you some more uh, uh, RAM in the background uh, for heavy tasks. So that's the boost option. Then there is also screen recording option in case you want to uh, make a tutorial on with the device. You can have the screen recording option. That's quite uh, useful. Now going to uh, the, uh, the settings. So here we have a lot of options to choose. So let's go here. So here we have the brightness and display option. So here uh, you can actually change the color temperature of the screen. That's quite useful. So there are people who might like uh, warmer tones. So you can just go with warmer tones. And if you want a bit more cooler tones, uh, you can just select that. And the default tone is a mixture of cooler and warmer tones. And uh, there is also option for night shield. So night shield uh, uh, enables uh, uh, this. You can see that. That it reduces the blue light from the screen uh, thus preventing uh, eye strain when you're reading for a long time so especially in the night you can just enable it you can uh, have it scheduled from uh, 22 or uh, uh, 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock or you can select your own time uh, and uh, display display effect can be selected display in color display in black and white comfortable night reading so there are lots of options to choose in the night screen and here also you can uh, set the color tone uh, whether you want cooler or warmer tones so that's the display and brightness option now going to the wallpaper so here you can see that you can customize uh, uh, the home screen layout you can have 4 by 6 or 5 by 6 option and there is also option to set the wallpaper from uh, the for the device now moving on to the sound and vibration so if you scroll down you can see there is a real sound technology this will be enabled once you connect your, your earphones so this is quite useful because it gets you real power sound and here you have the equalizer to get the better sound output so that's the sound uh, option now there is a uh, fingerprint face and passcode option so just going here you can see that uh, there is lock screen uh, for uh, i mean lock screen password uh, and you can set the fingerprint and face unlock and if you go to the face unlock you can see there is an option for screen brightness compensation so make sure you are enable this uh, this uh, will uh, improve the face unlock performance so we are just uh, we also uploaded a video on the face unlock functionality so you can check out how good the face unlock is and uh, you can also unlock uh, directly with your face uh, closed eye will fail the face recognition that can be enabled because um, that will improve the security so you can uh, do this uh, with the face unlock now going uh, uh, to the smart and convenient option so here we have the option to customize the navigational keys so, so right now we have the virtual navigation keys with the back and multitasking option along with the home button so you can interchange the position as well so uh, if you want uh, the multitasking and back button to be interchanged that can be done here you can also virtual navigation keys can be hidden in case you uh, if you want uh, more screen space that can be hidden and you can just swipe uh, to enable them or else you can go with a swipe of gestures so this these are gestures so there are lots of gestures available back and back on both sides simple gestures uh, supported and back on the right and back on the left so uh, those those things can be configured based on how you want so for example this is the back uh, option and so those are the uh, options available and uh, you can use the navigation i mean gestures for navigation then there is assistive balls so so there is assistive ball which uh, allows two functions one is gesture option that is uh, tap to go, uh, go back a uh, double tap for multitasking and touch and hold for home button and if you want uh, uh, a menu you can also have a menu for uh, the assistive ball that means uh, you can see it will bring on some menu so so you can either have a gesture option or have a menu option for assistive ball so that can be turned on from here then uh, going to the smart sidebar so this is uh, you can actually see the smart sidebar here so just if you swipe here we get uh, some options uh, quick uh, option to uh, launch app so that that can be enabled uh, so that's a smart sidebar which can be enabled from here 
then a gesture and motion if you go we can see that the screen of gestures are there uh, that is double tap to turn on the screen draw O for camera draw V for flashlight music control and you can also customize by adding a screen of gesture then uh, three finger screenshot is also included along with that there is smart call um, functionality so three finger screenshot will just demo just uh, swipe down with three fingers and you can you can also take the long screenshot available so that's uh, the screenshot option and uh, in the gesture and motion then there is also smart driving options so smart driving option as the name indicates helps you in reducing the distraction while driving you can enable the do not disturb mode and uh, uh, you can even uh, send an auto sms uh, uh, for uh, calls rejected while driving so uh, you can block incoming in-app voice and video calls and a lot of things can be configured so this is for people who who are driving uh, and uh, don't want to get disturbed while driving so that's the option available in smart and convenient options then going to the security so here we have three important app options one is app lock so app lock uh, you can uh, what you can do is you can have uh, uh, protect your apps uh, using passcode or fingerprint scanner you can see that i have enabled uh, encryption for these apps and once they have encrypted you can either use a fingerprint scanner or a passcode or even face unlock uh, to unlock this device so that's the encryption available and you can protect your apps uh, with these options so that's the app lock then there is kid space so kid space is an area where uh, you can have uh, apps which are related to kids alone and if you are giving your smartphone to a kid you can uh, set the duration and apps allowed and you can turn off the cellular data and uh, restrict uh, a lot of things so that means uh, when you're giving the phone to kids uh, they, they won't make any calls or use unwanted apps so that's uh, the kid space and you can also set the duration for each usage then uh, coming back there is also private safe so private safe uh, is an area where you can uh, store your personal file so let's just enter the private safe so here you can see that uh, enter the private safe you can uh, uh, add uh, files like photos videos to the private safe and protect them so that um, so unless you enter your passcode uh, or fingerprint scanner or uh, even the face unlock uh, you can't enter the private safe so that's the option available so these are some really useful options in the security now going to the battery so here we have the smart power saver mode that's recommended because it gets you the better battery life uh, especially when you're traveling uh, you can get the better battery life then going to the additional settings uh, you have the option to enable the otg functionality so you can go here and enable the otg in case you want to connect uh, otg uh, pen drives and other options then going down you can see there is a clone apps option so here we have an option to clone or rather use multiple instances of uh, social networking apps like uh, facebook instagram messenger whatsapp etc so those can be enabled from here then uh, going to the game space so game space is literally for people who are into gaming so you can have uh, automatically add games into the game space that means uh, uh, there is a game assistant and there is graphic acceleration uh, for smooth performance and uh, 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 it also reduces uh, the distraction while gaming say for example if you get calls it won't actually exit the call uh, exit the game so that's something uh, really useful for gamers then there is app uh, split screen so if you just swipe from uh, uh, with the three fingers up you can enter the app split screen so just uh, uh, going here you can see this uh, app split screen and you can enable uh, from here so two apps can be run uh, instantly uh, from the apps uh, split screen so that's the option so these are some of the options available in the uh, fun touch OS on the realme 2 pro then there is also phone manager so here uh, there is cleanup storage and there is virus scanner and there is a uh, whatsapp cleaner as well so clean storage uh, allows you to uh, clean whatsapp uh, junk files then messenger and all app cache data can be cleaned so if you select here you can see uh, the cache data for uh, these um, apps and if you want you can just uh, clean them so that's the app uh, cache data cleaner and there's also whatsapp cleaner in case uh, you receive a lot of forwards so uh, you can clean it from here so these are some of the useful features available on the realme 2 pro with the fun touch OS. hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos this is number signing off with the tips and tricks and features of the realme 2 pro thanks for watching have a great day